Hi guys, my name is Zippy, and this here is my friend Cookie. Say hi, Cookie. Cookie. Yeah, he says that a lot. Cookie. Uh, I get the idea, Cookie. Okay, so today we're going to learn how to use cookies to add. Ah, uh, no, Cookie. Sorry. Right, so we're going to learn how to use repeated addition to solve multiplication problems. This makes it really easy to work out our times tables. Times tables are used for different reasons outside of school. In shops, you might want to work out how much it will cost for a lot of items that are the same, like buying cookies. Or when you have to make more of a recipe. For instance, if you want to double the number of cookies. Uh, exactly. So, how do we do this? Well, let's have a look. Let's try four times two. Well, the four tells us the amount that we need to go up by each time. The two tells us the number of times we need to add four. So let's draw a number line first. Okay, so remember children, when drawing your number line, to use a ruler. So remember, oh, we need to start at zero. So, we are going to go up by four two times. So we do zero, add four, which we should land on four. And we have gone up once. But we need to make sure that we are going up two times. So we add on another four. So four, add four, should give us eight. And we have gone up two times. Okay, so you can see that we have added on four, and we have done that one, two times. And we have got an answer of eight. So we know that four times two will give us eight. Okay, so now let's try another one. Let's do five times three. Again, draw a number line. And start at zero. This time, we're gonna add five each time. And we have to do this three times. Is that right, Zippy? That's right, Cookie, you're on the right line. Just keep going. So, let's add five to zero. So, we jump five, and zero add five gives us five, and we have jumped once, so we need to jump again. So we do five, and five gives us 10, and we have jumped twice. Now we have to add five one more time, so we do 10, add 5, which will give us 10, and we have jumped once, twice, three times. Well done, Cookie, you've done it. You've done 5 times 3. You've added on 5 once, twice, three times, and got the final answer, 15. What do you have to do now, Cookie? We write the final answer 15 in the number sentence. Well done, Cookie. Okay, guys, now it's your turn. You need to use repeated addition to solve 5 times 6. Remember to show your working out and bring in your work tomorrow to show your teacher. So, how do you feel about using repeated addition, Cookie? Really good, thanks, Sippy. I think I really understand it now. <laughs> Ooh.
Do you smell those? Corkers! Uh, Corker? Um, it appears he's off, children. So, remember, if you do not understand anything that you have just watched, please make sure you go back and watch it again. If you still do not feel that you understand how to use repeated edition, make sure you go in and ask your teacher tomorrow. Good luck, guys. Cookie! Cookie!